morning, good morning, good morning. Just a short one. Uh, this season of my life, uh, I really strongly and firmly believe that the Lord is teaching me the value of balance. Balance. That's something that uh, I personally feel like we are in a, a very imbalanced state of our hearts and our minds. Um, I recently, uh, this morning, saw a post where someone talked about fear and how we've been, you know, following these, these theological, um, I can't word it exactly, but it was the whole concept of, um, a fear-based mentality. And I, myself, as somebody who had, um, a very misaligned fear of God, the father growing up. And I, I grew up with angry dad syndrome. You know, I always thought God was this this mean ruler on a throne that was just holding a gavel waiting to send me to hell if I made a mistake. There was no grace. But as I pondered the, the thought this morning about balance and imbalance, and I read through some of the comments, I began to see that the word fear in the Bible is it has it has different definitions. In the Old Testament, uh, Proverbs, I think it's Proverbs 9, 10, I think that's what it is. It talks about the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So fear in that context as written there refers to reverence, reverencing God. And then when you look in 2 Timothy 1, 7, it says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love and a sound mind. That word fear there represents the word timidity. So the imbalance is when we don't distinguish the difference between that same word. When we just put it out there as a blanket statement and say, you know, I've been taught this about fear and I'm just going to walk fearless. Well, fear is the beginning of wisdom. Jesus said, you know, who, who would the who would 10,000 soldiers doesn't first count and see that he has enough to go up against him with 20,000. Now, if you if you reverse that and you keep it imbalanced and you would say, we'll just live without fear. Let's just, I just believe God's going to deliver us. Mm, sometimes you need to use wisdom. Sometimes you need to use wisdom. If you want to look at the other context of fear, and you say, it, I'll give another example. Jesus was led up on a high mountain, upon the pinnacle of the temple or whatever. We go through all this thing, and Satan told him, throw yourself off of here. For, for it is written, the angels will catch you, lest you bear your foot against a stone. And Jesus responded to him, it is also written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. There is wisdom. Just because you can do something, just because God can do something, doesn't mean that it's your right to test God. And I'm telling you, the imbalance is getting us set up into a place where we have people that are literally jumping off a cliff, just believing in faith that God's going to catch them. When God is saying, yes, I can catch you, but I never told you to jump to begin with. I told you to count the cost. I told you to weigh the options. And then the other side of fear, Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he has these three encounters where he says, Father, if there's any way possible, let this cup pass from me. Nonetheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Jesus felt fear in that moment. The emotion of fear, he wasn't led by the spirit of fear. There's a huge difference between the two. And I think if we don't come to a place where we have balance, then we will just live based on emotion and, and allow that emotion to override everything that God has given us to be victorious. You have to have balance. You have to have balance in relationships. You have to have balance in marriage. You have to have balance in your own personal walk and your convictions. You have to have balance. If we walk blindly, see, we take scripture and we'll use it so quickly. And we'll talk about blind faith. We'll talk about just trust the Lord. Yes, there is definitely that element in it. But there's also wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let's walk in wisdom. Let's walk with a balanced sense of reverence to God, as well as not allowing a spirit of fear to rule what God wants to do through us. It's just my take on it. I hope it makes sense to somebody. If it doesn't, hey, it is what it is. God bless you. One love. Have an amazing day. You are valued.